Hi, my name's Phil, I like to talk about politics and well, this is a bit of a noodle scratcher, isn't it? It was always clear from Boris Johnson's rhetoric that he was trying to get the British public to believe that he is going to ignore international treaties when dealing with the EU. But he didn't say so overtly. Well, now he is, or at least he seems to be, or at least that's what people are saying. But in this video, I'm going to explain just how insane this would be, what the likely consequences would be, and how, well, he's not really saying it at all. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So, as I say, a word of caution here. This is not Boris Johnson actually getting ready to rip up an international treaty that he has only just signed. He wouldn't dare. Let me explain first of all what the fuss is about. So, Boris Johnson is reported to be getting ready to rip up the withdrawal agreement that he has signed into British and international law on the basis that his general election mandate from last December gives him the impetus to do it. But this is wrong for three reasons. First of all, no mandate from a national election allows you to ignore international law. Second, there is no such mandate from the general election, nothing in his manifesto promised to rip up his own withdrawal agreement. And third, most confusingly of all, the withdrawal agreement was amended and passed by Parliament and signed by Boris Johnson himself over a month after the general election. So he's got the chronology more confused than a Doctor Who timeline here. But the other thing to point out is that Boris Johnson isn't going to do this at all. He just wishes some people to think that he is. How do we know this? Simple. Boris Johnson hasn't said this in a public speech. It's been reported in a Tory newspaper, The Telegraph. They just wrote a report on it. It will have been written in cahoots with Boris Johnson and his team, of course, but it's not actually a true report in the way that people will take it. It's a classic political trick. You want to achieve an outcome. You want to sort of say you're going to do a thing, but you don't want to nail your colours to the mass, so you get a newspaper to print it. If it doesn't work out, you can always deny that you ever intended in the first place. In fact, if it does work out, you can always deny that you intended to do so in the first place. This article has been written for a particular audience. Of course, it will, it will play very well to the normal Telegraph audience, those Ed Bangers, but I don't think it's for them. I mean, after all, they get no say in the negotiations, so affecting the way they think doesn't help anything. It will surely have been written for EU consumption, specifically for those in control of the negotiations for the EU. I'm guessing it's another tactic to try and get the EU to offer concessions in the face of the chaos that Boris Johnson is threatening to unleash. Boris Johnson thinks that he's Princess Leia in Jabba's palace threatening to blow everyone up if he doesn't get his way. And I know what some of you will be thinking. He isn't Leia with a thermal detonator. He's a guy threatening to shoot himself because ripping up an international agreement that you've only just signed will do a number of things. First of all, it will make the UK's reputation already badly damaged by Brexit, and Boris Johnson's reputation as well, completely mud. Why would any country on earth engage in years of negotiations with us if we might just tear up the agreement at the end on a whim? They won't. It's a waste of their time. Two, it will necessitate a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Not only will this be calamitous for the peace process, but also for something that Boris Johnson actually cares about, engagement with the United States. And three, it will mean that the EU will immediately end talks. That means that we'll be a few months into 2020, racing towards the end of the transition period, and we won't be holding trade talks with any country on earth. That will see utter panic completely wrecking the economy. So now, I agree that the EU are not going to shift position on this. They know it's just a clumsy stunt that Johnson would dare not pursue. And if he did, it would ultimately only weaken the British position anyway, hastening Johnson's removal from frontline politics and potentially meaning a more sensible prime minister to do business with. So why is Johnson doing it? Well, I mean, this is only speculation, but there's a decent chance he's doing it because neither he nor his advisers know the first thing about international negotiations. I mean, none of them have ever taken part in them. Yes, he has access to those who have, but he doesn't listen to them. He seems to remain convinced that the EU will not accept a no-deal scenario. Doubtless, people have showed him the economic damage projections that the EU would suffer in the event of a no-deal, and he's concluded, well, this is too high a price for them to pay. They won't do this. 
so they'll give him his Canada deal. The problem is that nobody has shown him the projected economic damage to the EU if they did agree to Johnson's demands. Because if he was shown this, he might understand that they would rather take the lesser damage of no deal than the much greater damage of weakening the single market's integrity. So I wouldn't put much store by this latest report. As I said, it, I'm sure it's a clumsy attempt to get something that Johnson just doesn't understand is impossible. So I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later.